Hi, I'm Ross Benjamin reporting for the Offshore Gaming Association. That's OSGA.com, your number one source for information on the offshore sportsbook industry. That's OSGA.com. I'm going to be doing a betting preview on Sunday night's NFL nationally televised game between a couple division leaders as the NFC West division leading Los Angeles Rams with an 11 and 1 record travel to Soldier Field in Chicago to take on the 8 and 4 Bears who sit atop the NFC North division. Currently as we speak, the LA Rams are a 3 point favorite and the total is 52 in this contest according to 5 dimes. Keep in mind folks, I am recording on Thursday, December the 6th. This game is taking place obviously three days later. So depending on when you view this video, uh, the lines uh, being the point spread and total are subject to change. As I alluded to, the Rams with a stellar 11-1 and record this year. However, they've gone just 2-5-2 two, and two against the spread in their last nine games. So uh, putting that in perspective, if you bet the Rams in the last nine, you've only won twice and you pushed a couple times. The Rams also in their last three contests as an away favorite of seven or less, all which occurred this year, 0-3 against the spread, folks. Chicago, on the other hand, during the past three seasons, the Bears are an outstanding 9-1 against the spread as a home underdog of three points or more. Reminding you again, they're currently a three-point dog at Soldier Field on Sunday against the uh, red-hot Los Angeles Rams. Now, here's a very good prerequisite for betting an NFL underdog. The Chicago Bears have forced an enormous 30 turnovers in their first 12 games this season. And boy, oh boy, does that give uh, a lot of betting value to an underdog with that amount of turnovers created in that period of time, let alone a home underdog at that. So a uh, very good situation here for the Chicago Bears, in my opinion. The one thing I would be aware of, the Bears are 8-4, and four, but 9 of their 12 games have come against teams that currently have a win percentage of 500 or worse. So they haven't exactly faced uh, a very strong schedule this year. Now let's take a look at some stuff uh, regarding the total in this contest. The Rams have scored 29 points or more in 11 of 12 games this year, and that includes in each of their last six. Unless you've been hiding under a rock and you're, uh, and you're an NFL observer, you would, you would know the Rams are the most prolific uh, NFC scoring offense this season and may be the best in the NFL, although Kansas City would give them a strong argument in, in that regard. The Rams have also allowed 31 points or more in their last five games versus teams that currently have a winning record. Now, the Rams have a lot of star players on the defensive side of the ball, especially along the defensive line, and they're able to get a lot of pass generate, I should say, uh, a strong pass rush. Unfortunately, their secondary has been banged up all season, and they've suffered as a result. Also, the Rams score so quickly sometimes, their defense is on the field a lot more than normal winning teams uh, or, or normal winning teams you would think would be. So now, despite those numbers, uh, meaning the points allowed and the points they're putting up, the Rams have gone 4-2 and two under on the road this season. Conversely, the Chicago Bears have gone seven and two over in their last nine games and have scored 23 points or more in each of those nine contests. As a matter of fact, if the total was 43 and a half or greater during that nine game time frame, the Bears were five and oh over the total, and those five games averaged a combined 57 points scored 
per contest. So again, there's some mixed read here. The Rams going four and two under on the road this year, albeit this is actually, even though the total is 52, a very low total for the Rams if you've been following them this year. And this seems like a very high total for the Bears, especially with that stellar defense they possess. But, you, you know, the Bears defense also creates turnovers, creates short fields for their offense. And as uh, I touched upon, uh, their last five games with a total of 43 and a half or more, they've gone over on each of those occasions and scoring in the high 50s combined each time. So I would here's what I would recommend as an opinion pick. I haven't officially released a pick. You can get that at my website when I do, that's rbwins.com, rbwins.com. I will have a winning side on this game. However, my opinion pick here is a teaser. I'm going to take a 6.2 team teaser, excuse me, with the Bears plus the 9 and the Bears over 46. That's a two team, six point teaser, the Bears plus 9 and over 46. As I just um, touched upon, you can go to my website, rbwins.com. There you will find all the games I purchased the most money on. You could purchase them there yourself. Be in the right corner with me. And uh, if you need a package tailored specifically to your needs, you can call me direct 781-571-0299. 781-571-0299. I accept all major credit cards. You'll deal with me, me only. I employ no salespeople. That's 781 five seven one zero two nine nine until the next time good luck with all your picks